Right, this is the uh, upper, lower, and proper um, dev video. This is uh, one that's usually used for text strings. Um, in fact, the proper usually refers to to people's names, but let me just show you how it works, because then you you know how, where, and when you want to use it. Let's say you've got a list of, of people's names. Now, you, you can see here, for example, I've just taken some random names off the internet. Um, so this one, uh, they spell it with a small T instead of a capital. And here there's a capital E in there for some strange reason, etc. So let's just say you've got a weird bunch of names like that. They're not all uniform. And if you're like me, you want them all done properly. Um, and you want the capital letters where they ought to be and the small letters where they ought to be. Uh, we can do that using proper. I'll show you that in a second. Um, but we can also take them all uppercase and all lowercase. Now, these are useful, not necessarily for names, but sometimes when you're creating codes, people's names or whatever, where you're looking up or where you're trying to find someone's name, et cetera. Now, some of the functions, uh, you know, search and find all the different functions, some of them look for, for um, specific cases. So it'll look for uppercase and lowercase specifically, or others will just look for the letter. It doesn't matter whether it's uppercase or lowercase. So depending on what you want to do, you may want to create a code. So for example, the date with the first three letters of the name or whatever the case might be, and you want to change it to upper or lower case. It's very, very simple. Those are the three formulas. So the first one you put in is you just simply put lower. Uh, so upper, we start with upper. Open your bracket, select the cell that you want to do. Close the bracket. And then it's all uppercase and we can copy that and we can paste that formula throughout. And you can see it gives all the names <clears throat> all in uppercase letters. Same with lower, it's just the other way around. All we do is we just put in lower, that's formula, open the brackets, select the original, close the brackets again. And now you can see it puts it all into lowercase. So sometimes those might be useful to, to, to put to formulate sometimes you've got for example as i said codes you can code a b and some of them are lowercase uppercase or rest you can convert them quite easily to upper or lowercase or <clears throat> the last one equals proper open bracket select the uh, reference and then if you copy that paste the formulas you'll see that it's now corrected all those issues so where we had a capital e there's no capital e there's a capital z instead of a small z etc so it collects uh, corrects all the names into proper uh functions capitals at the beginning small letters throughout so yeah those three by themselves might not be that useful but definitely within other formulas sometimes they could they could prove to be to be very very useful uh specifically as i said this one when it comes to names if you do have a whole bunch of haphazard names that people have just typed and stuff and you want to get them all uniform or use the proper it works, it works really, really well. So yeah, thank you very much.